Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today I'm taking on the Last Hope for Königsberg in reverse. It's a scenario that was created by Vermas 4, and I've already done a video on it a couple of days ago. But I want to try it in reverse now, because the situation was that it's 1945, Königsberg is about to fall, and a Russian group of mixed matched vehicles, so ships and transports, is trying to evacuate as many civilians as possible. The objective there was to try and keep as many of these ships alive. So they'll get one supposedly uh, still more or less finished H-class battleship, 64,000 tons, and a heavy cruiser, three light cruisers, six destroyers and ten transports, versus my Russian Baltic fleet of 12 destroyers, four light cruisers and three, sorry, two heavy cruisers. Now the thing is, um, the more ships I sink, the better my score is going to be. Because it's like you're trying to make sure that these civilians do not escape. And there was a point system in place. Sinking a battleship, 16 points. Sinking a heavy cruiser, 6 points. Sinking a transport uh, is 6 points as well. A light cruiser is 4 points and a destroyer is 1 point. All based on the capabilities of each ship to evacuate civilians. So my plan here is to develop my own destroyer. And with that destroyer, do torpedo attacks against the escorts. Preferably sinking the battleship as quickly as possible, because it'll be a massive threat to my heavy cruisers and light cruisers. Once the battleship is dead, I'll try to push in against the transports and sink as many of those as I can, because these are the real prize. Sinking 10 transports is going to net me 60 out of 100 points. So that's the plan. Now, I have development capability over destroyers. Uh, this could be modern destroyers or destroyer leaders. I think modern destroyers are a bit easier to work with because the destroyer leaders are bigger and that makes them easier to hit. So I'm going to go with the modern destroyer. I'm going to make this a fast boy, as they say. Uh, weaving in and out, doing torpedo attacks and then pulling back as quickly as I can. Oil, gear turbines too. Not sure if a forced boil is going to be enough, but we'll see. Medium range, uh, standard amount of bulkheads. Maximum engine shaft, or propeller shaft. Maximum turboelectric drive for better turning speed and rudder shift speed. Or turning rate. Uh, this, yeah, let's go for a double anti-flood. No, I don't... <laughs> If I flood, I die, period. It's that simple. <laughs> if I flood, I die. And I'm willing to accept that. Shells. Um, I'm not really relying on shells on these ships, to be honest. Because the problem with the shells is they're going to be 5 inch at best. And while they would potentially be enough to sink a transport, they don't really do much against cruisers. There is one other way that I could play this scenario, and that's by using my torpedo attacks against their escorts. So not just the battleship, but also the heavy cruiser and the light cruisers. But the light cruisers will immediately, immediately pick up on the torpedoes. And so will the destroyers. So they have nine ships which are capable of intercepting torpedoes. Or well, maybe not intercepting, but at least detecting. Let's go for 22 inch torpedoes. I'm not going to go for 24 because I don't really need it, and they do make them a lot heavier, those launchers. This is plus 75%, this is plus 115%. And I do intend to have a good number of torpedoes on there. A rangefinder, I believe, is only going to really help with gun long-range accuracy and not so much torpedoes. So I'm not going to go with a radar. I will go with acoustics to make sure I can at least detect torpedoes. And a rangefinder... Well, it's not really optional but it's not terribly useful. All right, main tower. One there. Secondary tower. Let's go for something small, because I'm building a torpedo boat, not a gunship. Now, I have tried using torpedoes on here, but more often than not, nothing happens. So I'm not going to do that, but I can use this. Unless the ship is immediately overweight. Alright. Um, against the transport, I imagine a 3-inch gun would be sufficient. 
<laughs> and that immediately puts the ship overweight. Okay. Let's reduce speed a little bit. Let's go to 48. Because I still need to throw in a funnel, potentially two. Yeah, they're overweight. Engine efficiency is 100%. Standard bulkheads is not enough. Uh, what else could I lower? I could lower the gun caliber, but that barely scratches the server. That's five tons. And I need to do a lot more than that. Or seven tons, I think. I could up the displacement a bit. There, 2,400 tons. So I get 10 tubes per ship. That is on the stern. Uh, I would love to get those bow tubes in to go on torpedo attacks from the front, but I think I'll just need to do drive-bys. I will potentially need an increased complement of torpedoes, which means that per launcher, I have 27 torpedoes. I still think it's an odd number. It's like you fire half a torpedo salvo. There we go, that's when the ship increases in size. That's what I do not want. Um, no, range slider is not really going to help me. I do want hydro. It's only going to add 1.5% to the hull. This is going to add 5% to tower weight. What? Oh, this is going to add more. Yeah, so that's not really going to help me. I need to find 31 tons somewhere to take down. There. Single hull. No inner hull at the bottom of the ship to protect it from mines or torpedoes. Well, <laughs> I don't think that that's going to be a terribly complex problem. Is there any way I could fit another one of those guns somewhere on the stern? Probably not. Then I would have to remove this tower. But no, I'm not going to go for torpedo or the gun runs. I need torpedoes. No, that's way too heavy. 48 tons per. Can I go back up to speed? No, even 48.5 is going to push me over the limit. Oh, don't drop it down. Bulkheads? No. Um... See, I could add armor, but it's more of a, a joke than anything else. One and a half inches of belt armor is the best I can do. And that's really not going to impress anybody. Any secondary worth a damn is going to push right through that. Here. Even a two inch gun at 5,000 meter range is going to penetrate a belt of 3.7 inches. So all of this armor, it's not very useful. Not at all. I'd say speed is my defense. So maybe I need to go the other way. Nope, too heavy. Seven tons. Does it even, yeah, it does do something for the weight displacement. Fine. I do have a massive aft weight offset, though. Twelve eight. Could I have a launcher up here? Provided that it works. That seems like a pretty high drop for a torpedo from here into the water. I'm not sure if I can rely on that. There is another option, that's putting a couple of tubes on here. And the ship's too heavy again. If I go to 21-inch torpedoes, there, that fits. The problem is, this is not really a fantastic way to mass torpedo volleys. No, I'm not going to do that. Um... I'm going to have to face an, an off weight, a weight offset. 
unfortunately, since I'm not really being a gunboat, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. This is gonna help just a bit. <laughs> that little three-inch gun. Oh, they're on the front. Okay. All right, let's just go. All right, starting range, 20,000 meters. Oh crap, there's one thing I didn't adjust and that's the type of torpedoes. Oh no. Wait, one. Range 14, eight. Okay, torpedo visibility is plus 15%. Formation of the ships. This could be a heavy. That's all their transports. These look they're like they're light cruisers. So what does that make you? Are you the cruiser or are you the battleship? This is the battleship. Not terribly impressive. They went with an older dreadnought hull. Well, I might be able to use that. Alright, I would like to organize my destroyers into two larger formations. So this destroyer group here, under the uh, lead of the uh, Dostoigny, I need you to hold your torpedo fire and move right. Then we have, for some reason or another, a single destroyer, which should be joining the group of the Metki. That's group four. I'm going to have another couple of destroyers here. The Gavril, Sokol, and uh, Moskvitianin. Gavril, join group 4. Sokol, join group 4. And you're going to... No, oops. You're going to join group 5. Alright, turn here. Turn here. Guns off. I don't want to be shooting at all. Shooting is just going to give my position away. That's the wrong group. This is the right group. Off. Then we have the heavy cruisers, the Slavarossi. Also armed with torpedoes at a range of 21.8. So arguably I should send those out immediately. Side-mounted torpedoes. Lots and lots and lots of them. And a couple single tubes somewhere near the last turret. Interesting build. Light cruisers. 7 inch, 2 inch, 2 inch. Right. Range, 15 kilometers. Maximum firing range, 15, 1. Your prize should be the transports. Which I haven't detected. Yeah, I have detected. Here. Alright, the plan for now is to have the heavier ships disengage. I don't want them completely out of the fight, but I don't want them hit. Especially considering that those battleships, are, or battleship singular, could be very, very devastating to these light cruisers. So for now, the Slava and the America are going to have to disengage while the destroyer groups reassemble. Let's give them a little bit of time to catch up. 42 knots here. We need to be sinking transports. That's the objective. Transports and the battleship. The battleship is worth 16 points. Oof. Slava got hit. Oh, nothing too bad. I just saw this penetration appear. I intend to do a pincer attack. One from here, one from there. First bit of damage against what I think is their heavy cruiser. Because they only have one. Is that the Slava? Slava has maximum bulkheads, finally. An AI de designed ship for me that has maximum bulkheads. Two powder. Okay, they're disengaging. Light cruiser, set a smoke screen. Disengage, just not at 38 knots. Slow down a bit. Heavy cruisers, disengage, not fully. 
This is a destroyer group, I think. Yeah. Torpedoes here, 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 and here. Oh, dear. That's a lot of torpedo armament. Metki group, smoke up. Torpedo range. That should put the targets in range. Including the battleship. 14-1. Torpedo range, 14-8. So the Metki's in range. But the Zorki, for example, is not. Range here, 10 6. Um, do I want to really send out torpedoes against these guys? Is this group assembled? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So called is still lagging behind a little bit. I think we're ready. I'm just gonna send out a massive wave of torpedoes against these transports and hope that I hit something. If I come in from all different angles, that might just work. Are we doing so far on damage? Only the Slava has taken a little bit, but it's otherwise fine. That destroyer is coming a bit too close. I thought there were transports here, too. Hmm. Torpedo when ready. I'm going to send out torpedoes against the heavy cruiser. If the ship's willing to do so. Send it. Torpedoes away. One ship, two ships, three ships, four ships, five ships. Perfect. That'll keep him busy for a bit. Now disengage under the cover of smoke. Range, 7-7. Seven, seven. They already know where I am, so I might as well open up against this destroyer. The other destroyer group, Metki. Range 8-4. No, 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 no. I don't mean you to turn. Not yet. Aggressive torpedo launch. Metki. Gromki. Vyshislav. Zorki. Gavril. Metki. Away. Gromki. Away. Vyshislav. Away. Zorki. Not in a good torpedo position yet. That's fine. We'll just use these three. I just need to thin their numbers. One wave, two waves, three waves, four. That's a half one. Position on the lights. Trail the destroyers. Position on the heavies. Trail the other wing. So far we're doing some damage against that heavy cruiser, but it's really not too severe. She'll be able to survive that. Pretty comfortably, I think. My problem is that most of these destroyers are going to very quickly spot the torpedoes and potentially alter course. And I still haven't seen the transports yet. Oh, there. Somewhere in the distance. Alright, the other group. You guys have been detected, so you might as well open up. Speed is survivability here. This ship might have seen the torpedoes as it's turning to port to evade. Status here. So far, so good. Let's see if I can avoid the guys over here. Increase the maximum speed again. And just go right for the transports, because that's where the money is. Look at this. This I like. What's their battleship up to? Not much. This is why I wanted to have my own ships disengaged. The heavies and the lights. They don't really stand a chance here. Metki. Starboard turn. Oh, I got hit. 
Vyshislav and Gromki have taken some damage. Fortunately, nothing too severe, because they don't need much to sink. Oh. Who is pummeling you? The light cruisers. Good work. Isimrod has taken flooding and hull damage. Smokescreen unavailable. Increase back to full speed. Okay, so this is the heavy cruiser Thor, supposedly Prince Eugen. It has sent out torpedoes to a range of 21.6 with almost no visibility. Nine inch shell fire. Battleship, not identified as of right now. Standard bulkheads. Please just continue on your course and it'll be over soon. Maybe make a starboard turn if you will. That'll speed along your demise quite nicely. All right, destroyers. Where are their transports? I think the Thor is slowing down too much. Have you seen the torpedoes? You haven't. Curious. Oh, I didn't spot all of the... No. Yeah, it's this one. This is a potential one. And over here, I think the destroyers have spotted the waves of torpedoes and are just avoiding everything. Pretty much as expected, but at least I'm flushing them back. Range, 10 clicks. Target, 9-6, but they're heading away. There's still a bunch of torpedoes in the water, but I rather doubt they're going to be doing anything useful. The Thor has evaded the torpedoes. All of them. Where's the other destroyer group? Pretty good. 12-7 against that battleship, which means it is in range. We now have an identification. This is the Schwaben. 14-inch guns, 8-inch secondaries or casemates, 6-inch secondaries, standard bulkheads, top speed of 24 knots. Not exactly an H-class ship, I'd say. Torpedoes if you have them, against the battleship. Once the battleship is dead, my ships can push in a bit closer than they are right now. My cruisers are still valiantly trying to deal with the destroyers, but with accuracy of 1.2%, I'm not expecting anything very quickly. There we go. Very eagerly awaiting the return of my smoke screen. Because without it, I don't really feel safe in these destroyers, even if I'm doing 48 knots. Sweet Jesus, what happened to you? Light cruiser hits. Okay, so what's that's one destroyer less. That's a light cruiser hit by torpedoes. Really? I thought they would all be able to avoid those, but not all of them were. And over here, another torpedo hit. This one from the V1. Looks like the cross torps came in. Yep, those were the torpedoes from this group. That's the V1 gone. And the V5. And there is still more on the way. I thought the torpedoes would be running out by now, but they're not. They're still posing a big risk to this group. And just plowing through most of these ships with ease. When I was doing the previous version of this scenario, where I was playing the Germans, this is exactly what I meant. If you do a hammer and anvil attack with these ships, then you have an excellent chance of just getting a load of torpedoes landed on them. There you go. Just like that. Immediately sinks Frankfurt. Got hit by a torpedo for 1940, immediately detonated the ammo. Oh, hold on, there's still one light cruiser left. The V... What is that? Six is done. I 
haven't really kept track of how much I've sunk at the moment, but I've sunk at least two light cruisers. And I think two or three DDs. So, let me mark that up. That's, I think, two DDs and two light cruisers sunk. One of my light cruisers is not looking very pretty. Two of my light cruisers, actually. Disengage. Not sure if you have any engines left to retreat with. Just make do. A heavy cruiser could still really pose a threat. My heavy cruisers are still working away at it, but it's taking a sweet time. Oh, the heavy cruisers have also launched their torpedoes. They haven't hit anything, though. Hello. Would you be transports by any chance? I thought there was one light cruiser left. Gotta be careful not to get my own ships blown up by my own torpedoes now. Other destroyer group, check in. Range to the V2 is 4. Point, uh, sorry, is, yeah, 4.3 kilometers out. And it did send out torpedoes. Come left. <laughs> Accuracy, 0.7%. And that's with aggressive firing. The AI goes, no, I'm not even going to bother. Range to the battleship, 6.4. Smoke up. Come right. Torpedoes against the battleship. Aggressive launch whenever possible. Because we need that guy dead. He's now getting his 8 inch. It was 8 inch, right? Casemates in range. Merchantman. Good. That's one transport dead. Alright. The Stony has launched. The destroyer might pick them up, but the battleship is not very mobile. So I'm not really expect oh oh. I'm not really expecting any of their ships to be able to avoid my ships. My torpedoes. Ah, I did get hit by my own torps. Oh, you numb nut. That was a pretty big fuck up. Hammer and anvil works. If you don't become the target yourself. Here's the Isamro, which was what well, it was predicted that I was gonna lose this ship. The other two light cruisers are still fighting. Albeit not very happily. Another something sunk. What's what's going on down here? Right, my once so proud Russian destroyer group <clears throat> is not doing so well right now. Not so much because I've gotten torpedoed by my own ships, although that's not helpful, but also because I'm taking quite a lot of hits from the battleship, the Schwaben. It's time to disengage, at least somewhat, with these DDs while I still have torpedoes. Although I'm not really thinking that I'll be able to evac all of them. Let's see... Oh, the Rus also took a fair beating. What happened to you? Nine-inch penetrations against the Rus. Volga, turn back. We still have a heavy cruiser to sink. The other destroyer group, five healthy destroyers, relatively healthy, can still go after the transports. And the transports are never going to be able to get away from me. Not with my 48 knots, with about, well, top speed of a transport at 15, if that. Unfortunately, the Schwaben is able to avoid these torpedoes. There is another set on route, but I think the Schwaben's still turning. It is going to be an interesting situation to see if the V2 wants to get hit by those. I mean, it won't want to, but it might. Let's just keep powering through. We're still doing full speed. There we go. Doing damage on the Thor. 
I could really use flooding on this ship. Now, I've successfully bypassed the battleship. I'm approaching the transports from the other sector as well. Which on the one hand is good news, on the other hand it's not very good news. Because it means that I might open myself up to more pincer attacks by myself. Let's see, I got this destroyer over here. My range is 22 kilometers. That's not the running range of my torpedoes. They'll run out before then. Oh, 21,400 damage against the Destoigny. There goes another DD. We're not out of the fight yet. So if I sink transports, they're going to lose a lot of points. And yes, not actual points, but simulated points. Which is what we're playing for. Oh, they got more escorts? No, they're all transports. Good. Oh, crap. There goes the Rus. The Volga. Yeah, I'm sending the light cruiser Volga to do damage against a heavy cruiser. So, I'm getting exactly what I should be getting. Which is my ass kicked. Misplay. Now, could we finally land any torpedo against that battleship? Or the V2, for that matter? The V2 just keeps spotting these torpedoes and keeps avoiding them. Look at that. They've been detecting torpedoes for the last six minutes. And it looks like the Schwaben has found a gap between almost all of the torpedoes, unless... It's making a grave mistake right now and turning to port. Sometimes I swear the AI is just intentionally trying to eat a torpedo. Successfully. Like, what are you doing? There was a perfect gap. All you had to do was turn the other way. And no, it didn't. It just turned right into the torpedo and now it's going to take another one. Unfortunately, I think that's the extent of my torpedo attack on the battleship. But at least that'll slow that ship down. Whoa, what happened to the America? Hold on a minute. You were fine a moment ago. And that's when a destroyer hit you. Two times, actually. A destroyer? Would the V3 know anything about that, by any chance? I'm too far away from my escorts. Okay, there goes a the transport. So that means that the Slava is not able to detect any kind of torpedoes. And is now paying the price for it. Alright, normal launch, preferably the Metki. Hold off. Because I think that that'll be enough. Hard turn to port. We're going to try and close in a bit. That's another transport sunk. That's two transports so far. A DD, question mark? No, that's a transport. Three transports. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? There's supposed to be seven survivors, not six. Oh, the Schwaben is doing very bad. That low amount of bulkhead armor, or standard amount of bulkheads, combined with a seeming lack of being able to do anti-flood, or... Well, it does have anti-flooding. Yeah, it's pumping the water back out. Oh, no. That is not at all what I want to see. The Nizen now has now been reduced to just a transport. Come on, can we set fires on the Schwaben? Or can we not even pen that armor? 20.4 inches of armor on the turret. <sighs> Torpedo outbound from the Slava. If you have torpedoes, send them against the Schwaben. Here's another set. Alright, 
That light cruiser disengaging out of the fight. The guys over here are likely to land at least one torpedo against the Nisenau and whatever's behind it. I'm going to send out another set against these guys. The Metki just sent. And now the Zorki did. Good. Torpedo in the water. I don't think that that heavy is going to go down anytime soon. It's nine inch guns, but it's the same inch or same caliber that I have. That's not really doing too much. Can these destroyers hit the Schwaben? Possibly. Gromki. <clears throat> See if you can land some torpedoes. That's a launch from the Gromki, the Moskvi, and the Gavril. Good. I'll keep them occupied for a sec. Oh, the Metki has taken some damage. And is trying to fall in behind the rest of the group. Eight-inch shell from a battleship. So, a secondary or a casemate gun hit. Come on, Slava. And now I'm tasking you with doing a very difficult job, but I believe that you can do it. Other destroyer group should have been turning around. Yep, they are. Schwaben range, nine. Ideally, I just kill off the Thor. Make my life easier. Our cruiser Volga. Disengage. Thor is on fire, courtesy of the HE uh, volume from the Slava. Nysa now has taken a 3-inch shell hit. Huh. We're going to charge into this group of transports and just use the guns to take them down. It's only 3-inch, but against a transport, that should still be pretty damaging. It should still be enough. In the meanwhile, the Schwaben is still awaiting the arrival, or well, I doubt they're going to be sitting there and waiting, but they are expecting torpedoes. Well, maybe not even that. I'm not expecting them. Oh, what the hell happened here? Is that a torpedo hit? No. A 14-inch shell hit. This is what I get for getting too close to a battleship. I didn't respect the threat, and now the threat is instructing me otherwise. There goes the Slava. Crap. Six and a half clicks out against the heavy cruiser. Buvoy, I need you to torpedo that heavy cruiser. The DD, we might be able to handle with a gun run. The heavy cruiser, we will not. Sokol. Or whoever has torpedoes angled that way. Dursky. Dursky sent out torpedoes. Sokol did too. Okay, so now it's just destroyers that I have available. Zorki. The Nysa now is burning, flooding, engine damage, rudder damage, but it's still there. Unfortunately. This, however, could be a damaging hit to the Hertha. Wasn't even trying to evade it. That's a kill. And with any luck... No, she's too fast. Which is a weird thing to say about a transport, but she was just able to avoid that torpedo that's coming in here. Schwaben. Torpedoes are still on the way. Torpedoes against the heavy. I'm just seeing one? Surely you sent out more than one torpedo. One is such a lonely torpedo. Torpedoes like to travel in packs. I like my torpedoes to travel in packs. Uh, 
Alright, switch fire to the Michelle. Schwabba's down to 10%. 10% buoyancy. There should be at least one torpedo in this whole swarm that's going to do something. There we go. Zorky's still relying on her speed to try not to get hit by the battleship. She has smoke for another 80 seconds. I think I really only sent out, like, one or two torpedoes against that heavy cruiser. But I believe that there were other torpedoes in the water. I just can't really seem to find them. Hmm. Shit, what happened to you? Transport hits me? This transport is fighting back. And killing the Zorki. <laughs> That's a transport with a mind of its own. Ah, good. Torpedo hit on the Schwaben. She's flooding again. I think we only got one? Yeah, one. It might just be enough. Gavril still reloading. Come on. Schwaben, 9% buoyancy. Seven. Five. She's fighting it. She's back up to six. And this is when a few of those bow-mounted torpedo tubes would have been exceptionally helpful. Because with those, I could easily just torpedo one transport. There goes the Michelle. Finally. Five transports sunk. At least by my estimate. I could be wrong. Torpedoes on the Thor, please, from any ship in range. Which translates to nobody. Alright, come around again. Flooding on the Niza now, but it's still not enough. Oh, here come the torpedoes, finally. No, actually, those are the torpedoes from the other side. So, unsuccessful. Yeah, don't worry. It's properly dead now. <laughs> you don't have to hit it with two more torpedoes. I mean, this is just a mess of a ship. Yeah. Stop kicking it. It's already dead. What combat capable ships do they have? The V2, the Schwaben, and the Thor. And a couple of armed transports. Although most of them are not packing. I think I must have missed one transport loss. Because at the moment I'm seeing four alive. If you want to call the Nysa now alive. And there should be six. No, there should be five more. There goes Nysa now. So I'm probably already up to seven transports sunk. Uh, next target should be the Nymph. 34% accuracy. Forty percent accuracy. We're gonna need a few hits though. What happened to the Zorki? Did you get targeted by the battleship? No, you got targeted by a destroyer. Oh no. The amount of friendly fire I'm taking is ridiculous in this match. Well, it's a good practice. How not to do pincer attacks. Learn as you go. Schwaben is still alive. What's your top speed like? Seven knots. That's it. Range 6-2. 
I have to wait for those torpedoes to rearm. And since the loss of the heavy cruiser, that means that the only other ship that they can still have that fights back is the destroyer. Supposedly there's something in here as well. Potentially another DD. Gavril, report speed. 48 knots. She doesn't lose speed in the turn. Thanks to all of the upgrades. Ooh, cute. <laughs> the ship is about as fast as her own torpedoes. She's half a knot slower. That's impressive. They're seriously messing up the nymph, but slowly. Oh, lovely. The V2 just sent out a torpedo volley. Normal. Gavril. Yeah, swing him to the other side. Come on. She's firing again. Torpedo's in the water. Hold off. We're getting really close to these transports now. 1.4 clicks out. The other guys? Yeah, with the loss of their cruiser, I cannot push in. If I still have capable ships. Dursky, Sokol, and Buvoy can do it. The other ones? Not really. Retreat. See, this is when I would want a single or maybe even a double tube. I can just drive by shoot against these uh, transports. Keep at it. Engine 2 damaged. Flooding. Killed her. 8 kills on the transports. Torpedoes are now moving against both the transport and the battleship. Although the Schraben, believe it or not, is once again ducking against the torpedoes. Yep, there's a second destroyer here. Lovely. Could you please make a stupid mistake and turn into the torpedo again? That would make my life a lot easier. Torpedo launch from the V3. There goes the transport. That's transport 9 that's been killed. The last one's over here, the Wiesbaden. The destroyers from the Germans are once again trying to torpedo me. Let's hope that they can't. Schrauben avoided the torpedoes. Whoa. What happened? One 14 inch shell hits you. Jesus, somebody has a small dick problem. Very, very loud motorcycle. That must have made it onto the recording. Torpedoes are away once again against the Schwaben. Uh, now we're knife fighting. Might want to take it off of times two. Gavril, hard to port. Anybody have torpedoes ready? No? No? Yes, the Metki has torpedoes ready. Maybe this DD can be asked to hit their friendly. I mean, I've been doing it, so they might as well. Gromsky should be fine. Sorry, Gromki, not Gromsky. Are the destroyers? 3.2 kilometer range away. But I have torpedoes coming that way, so I need to be turning away from them. This really should put an end to the Schwaben. But I've been saying that, so I'm still not convinced that it actually will work. Gromki is now taking hits from the 8-inch secondaries, the casemates, from the battleship. Schwaben, please know when you've been beaten. Know when to fold. 12% buoyancy, 10, 9. Now the Gromki is trying to fall back into the formation. Behind the Metki. 
None of these DDs are particularly healthy. Alright, we're going for a drive-by. You don't have any torpedoes ready? These ships do have torpedoes, but they're not ready. The Gromki and the Gavril. Point four. Finish it. Thank you. Jeez, that took me long enough. Metki. There's going to be a very, very close torpedo attack. Very, very close indeed. No, 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 no. Not yet. You're about to hit your own torpedo, you idiot. Oh. I think that passed just underneath the ship. Swing the torpedo launch to starboard. Because now you have a perfect angle. Come on. Collision. Come on, Metki. Now is the time to strike. Oh no. More engine damage on the Metki. This destroyer, however, has made a mistake. It's gonna get hit by four torps. Metki, engage. Gromki. Everybody uh, on this group kindly not use torpedoes. Because I barely trust myself with them, let alone the AI. Also, we still have to sink one transport. <coughs> the Wiesbaden. Buvoy doesn't have torps ready. Sokol does. Uh. Almost ready. Not even halfway ready. Come on, guys. It's a DD fight here. I'm just waiting for the destroyers to come in. This ship doesn't have any active torpedoes. But those smaller launchers, the threes, they recharge pretty quick. And since you only have a bow gun, you cannot even shoot the guy. See, this is the kind of engagement I did not want to get into. I will finish this. I will win this scenario. Were we firing again? Little I too. Fire on the V3. Rudder damaged. Metki is still trying to chase it down. What's the position of your guns? Stern. Bow. And a couple of 3 and 2 inch. Alright. Keep going. I want to detach the dirt ski. And commit another war crime. Shit, torpedoes in the water. Hard to port, hard to port. I was waiting for that to happen. I'm glad I caught that. Another torpedo set has been launched. Hard to starboard again. We're gonna duck and weave right between these. Buvoy. Oh, this is not gonna be pleasant. Midships. No! That's what you get. If you get a destroyer that's really quick, you just lose out of maneuverability. My turning circle is just way too high. See, their turning circle is probably going to be lower. 273 meters. My turning circle is 492 meters. No wonder I didn't hit them. Dertsky, are you really struggling to land torpedoes on an almost stationary target here? Metki, turn away. Sokol. Just put those fish in the sea. Any. 
come on. I can't believe it's taking me this long to sink one destroyer. There, finally, the Dirtsky has launched her torpedoes. Hard to port. Although... Yeah, I just drove right into the torpedoes. <laughs> my own, aren't they? No, at least they're hostile. Oh my god, what a fuck up this episode is. <laughs> I don't think I ever messed up this bad. Okay, that'll kill it. At least you landed all ten. Now, Sokol, do you have any particular excuse for not launching your torpedoes? There goes the Dirtski. We still have two torpedoes in the distance, or two destroyers in the distance, but they're the ones who are evacuating. I wouldn't put it past the V3 to actually try and torpedo me with that last launcher that it's readying. Like that, for example. Come on, 500 meters out. Aggressive torpedoes against the V3. She's not even trying to point her torpedo tubes in that direction. Metki, you might want to back off. Alright, can we please land any single kind of hit? One will do, ten is appreciated. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <sighs> Despite a few mistakes, aka dozens and dozens of fuck ups, I was able to sink all of the German group, and with that, I was able to eliminate the entire formation and win the scenario. So, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, fuck-ups and everything included. I hope you had a good laugh out of that. I can at least laugh at my mistakes, and I hope you can too. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you soon for another episode.